a goddamn monkey spot. What's up guys, welcome back to Mac TV. We have arrived in Lotbury. And today I'm gonna to share with you five facts about Lotbury that you don't know. I thought I'd share with you some of the history of Lotbury. Rather than me just walk around and video monkeys all day. But we're gonna do that anyway. Now there's a lot of rich history in Lotbury and there's a lot to discover. Lotbury is actually home to some of the oldest Khmer ruins in all of Thailand and you can actually see the remnants of all these ancient civilizations in all the ruins here. Lotbury is actually believed to be one of the oldest cities in Thailand and it dates back to over 1200 years ago. Nowadays, Lotbury is famous for its monkeys. It's known as Monkey City to a lot of people, and there's over 5,000 monkeys that live here, and it's only a small city, so the monkeys pretty much rule everything. Back in 2016, there was a woman that was actually attacked by a gang of monkeys here. She had half a finger bitten off because she was feeding the monkeys. Now there's signs everywhere that say don't feed the monkeys. It is tempting to feed the monkeys though, but if the monkeys are hungry, they're gonna bite you. And not only that, the monkeys can give you rabies. So don't feed the monkeys if you come in here. Otherwise, you could lose a finger or get rabies. Just down this one street here, there's probably over a hundred monkeys. And I don't like the way some are looking at me, to be honest. Lotbury was actually the centre of all the opium trade in Thailand and back in the 20th century this place was overrun with criminal gangs and it led to a lot of disruption within the city. In the late 1990s Lotbury was the site of a massive gang war between two... Don't trust these monkeys. In the late 1990s Lotbury was the site of a brutal gang war and it actually resulted in dozens of deaths and a lot of injuries and this all led to a rise of violent crime within the city. I don't think the monkeys had anything to do with that though. So only just recently, a group of people have actually been trying to steal these monkeys so they can sell them in the wildlife trade. Fortunately, some of these people have actually been caught, but I still suspect that this goes on quite a lot here. I'm not sure as to whether they're selling them overseas or selling them to private owners. Either way, it's not very good for the city and it's not very good for the monkeys either. This is actually their natural habitat, believe it or not, and they own this city more than the people do. Gotta be careful around these monkeys. You turn your back for one second and there's like three of them walking behind you. I'm in like the monkey ghetto area at the minute. I'm getting out of here. They actually put all these cages around the shrines and stuff to protect them from the monkeys. I can see why. And that building looks so abandoned. I bet the monkeys love that place. Okay, so the next one, back during COVID, when there was no tourists here at all, there was actually a lack of food in the city for the people and the monkeys. And you could only imagine what havoc was wreaked when 5,000 hungry monkeys wanted food. There was monkey attacks everywhere. People were getting attacked. Shops and businesses were getting infiltrated by monkeys. And let's just say it was a bad time for Lotbury. I would not like to have been here during COVID. Monkeys were coming into people's homes, stealing what food they did have, and attacking them. Can you imagine that? These monkeys attack you anyway. So if they was hungry and they had no food, you'd be outnumbered as well. So I've just come into the center of Lotbury where it's got the main monkey temple. Costs 50 baht to get in here. You can have a look around, chill with the monkeys, take some pictures. And they also give you a stick to protect yourself. So I got my stick. If any monkeys are gonna come attack me, I'll attack them back. This is where the main monkeys live. This is their home. And you're gonna find more monkeys here. Oh. 
And you're going to find more monkeys. Oh my God. What's he doing? That's my stick. I'm getting attacked already. And you're going to find more monkeys here in this part of Lockbury. Oh! Jump. Hey. Stop it. And you're going to find more monkeys here in this part of Lockbury than anywhere else. Yeah, I've got to be careful with these monkeys. One just got onto my back, opened my bag, and took my book out of my bag. And the guy had to use a slingshot on the monkey to get it back. A goddamn monkey spot. Okay, so the last fact I want to tell you about is during the 17th century, Lotbury was the site of a huge massacre known as the Lotbury Incident. The king's close advisor was accused of treason and he was actually executed with other Thai nobles as well. And during World War II, this whole city was actually occupied by the Japanese military where they used it for a base for their military operations. And there was actually many Thai civilians that suffered under the Japanese rule. So this place back in World War II wasn't a good place to be if you was a Thai person as you would have been bossed around and ruled by the Japanese. But despite all that being said, Lockbury and its destinations are actually off the beaten path for many tourists. And it actually makes this place an ideal destination for many tourists and for those people that are seeking a more authentic and immersive experience while traveling here in Thailand. Right, that's enough monkey madness for one day. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of me traveling around Lotbury, sharing with you some of the facts and some of the dark histories about this place. Like I said, there's a hundred other videos on YouTube of people coming here and playing with the monkeys. So I wanted to do something a little bit different and share with you guys some of the history. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support the channel in any way, there's links in the description. You can check those out. And that just leads me to say, cheers guys, peace. See you in the next one.